This AI learned to dodge all by himself. He literally taught himself how to do this. That's just incredible. Have a look at those misses. Whoa. He literally goes all the way around him. He's incredibly good at the game. Look at all the balls that are coming at him. That little green guy there. He's dodging everything. He's amazing. He literally, he's literally self-taught. That's pretty incredible. If you guys want to see how he actually learned how to do this, and you want to watch the process of actually building an AI, this is the video for you. So sit back, relax, and we're going to show you exactly how we built this. But first things first, we have to actually design the game. So let's go ahead and we're going to make some objects that actually move around the screen randomly. These are going to be the objects that our guy is actually going to have to dodge. Now at first, graphics don't really matter, so let's just make it really basic. Let's just choose the letter L. That's as basic as it gets. On second thought, let's make it a little bit prettier. There we go, much better. Let's add the basic player. Each of these blue guys is a player. As you can see, they don't actually move anywhere. And unfortunately, they don't die at this stage. So let's go ahead and make them die. Now if they go off the screen, or if they collide with one of the purple dots, they're actually going to die. So the next thing to do is actually make them move. Okay, so the bot's finally moving. It's basically just picked a random direction and it's just kind of traveling. It's going to go along as far as it can. If it goes off the screen, it's going to die. And if it collides with one of those purple balls, it'll die as well. Unfortunately, if it does die, then the game's just going to sit here. It's not actually going to reset. So let's add the ability for the game to reset itself when everything dies. So from now on, the game's going to automatically restart once all the dots are actually dead. Let's make the game actually display the current generation number. So every time a dot dies, it's going to go to the next generation number. So it's going to increase numbers like 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay, guys, it's time for the AI part of this to start. We're going to be using a system called Neuroevolution of Augmented Topologies, or we can just call it NEAT for short. It's a hell of a lot easier to say and remember. So we're going to be using NEAT. Now the way that NEAT works is through evolution. We start by picking a random AI. The AI is going to go through, it's just going to pick random directions, has no idea about anything that's happening, and what's going to happen is it's going to lose. But... And based on how well it did, it's actually going to receive a score. And based on that score, the strongest AIs, so like around the top 20, 30% of those, they're going to be carried over to the next generation. All the other ones are going to be randomly mutated. So what that means is we're going to get a whole bunch of different AIs and then they're all going to compete again. Now the ones who survive the longest out of those ones, they're going to be bred again and mutated again. And it's going to go over and over and over until hopefully we have something that's really good. So this is our first attempt at that and we're going to see exactly how it goes. Now based on what we can see here, I'm going to say it's not doing too well. It looks like it's just completely random. And my idea to actually fix this up is to add more debugging. What we're going to do is we're going to display the current score on the screen so we can actually see how they're doing and we can get an idea of exactly what's wrong. 5 seconds of debugging and I can see the score is NAN. So the score was never being calculated correctly, that's the issue. So for those of you who don't actually know, NAN basically just stands for not a number. So that means we were trying to compare not a number with not a number. So we didn't know which one was best and as a result, it just didn't know how to evolve, it didn't know which ones were the best. So we're going ahead and fix that up, then we actually have a score. The current scoring system is based purely on how long they've been alive for. So the longer they've been alive, the higher the score is going to go. Now, you're actually going to see there's some serious problems with this system. We're going to be dealing with some issues with the guys kind of going near the edges. They're going to get rewarded for sitting too close to the enemies. It doesn't work very well. The other thing you can see here is there's a whole bunch of other numbers there. And I'll quickly explain what all those numbers actually mean. But before we get to that, for this system to actually work, we need to see the score increase. The whole point of this is to get an increased score. In other words, we want to see these guys last longer and longer and longer. So let's go ahead and add a graph so that we can actually see the improvements over time. So right there at the top, as the generations go by, you're going to see the progress, or maybe the not so much progress, depending on how it goes. Hopefully progress, but we'll see. Now, what do these numbers mean? So for these AIs to work, what we need to do is have a series of inputs, and then a series of outputs. For the AI to actually work efficiently, and actually work correctly, we need to map the correct things. If we don't map the correct things, it's not going to work at all. This is my first time actually trying to map this stuff, so I don't know if I've gone overboard. Hopefully it works, we're going to find out. Now for each of these values, you can give it something between 0 and 1. Those are the only valid values. Okay guys, so the first two numbers that you can see there, that's my current position on the screen. So 0 means all the way to the left, and 1 means all the way to the right. And for the second value, same thing, 0 is all the way at the top, and 1 is all the way at the bottom. I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but let's just see if the AIs can learn from this. Straight after that, we have the positions of the closest few obstacles. So what that means is, literally the screen positions of the closest one is the first one, and then the screen positions of the closest second one, etc, 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 all the way through. Now if there isn't one that's close at all, the value is just going to be set to 1. So I don't know if the AI can learn from this, let's just see what happens, and hopefully it'll learn something. 10 generations, and the best it can do is just walk off the screen. Let's try again. Okay guys, we've gone ahead and simplified the AI down a little bit there. Instead of showing the top, I think it was four or five things that were the closest, we're just going to show the top two or three. Now you may also have noticed there's a brand new graph right there. So that graph is actually the brain of the smartest AI from the previous generation. If you look down the bottom there, there's a whole bunch of those red dots. Those are the inputs. Those inputs map exactly to all those numbers you're seeing there on the screen, minus the score. And then at the very top, we have the outputs. So as you can see, there's four outputs. The four outputs correspond to moving left, right, up, and down. So then what has to happen is this brain has to somehow connect those those dots and put 
put certain weights on these things to figure out, hey, I need to move left, right, up, or down. So based on all these things in the middle, you can see the various dots and the various connectors there. It's actually going to randomly change those connections. It's going to change the weights on those, the values of those, and it's going to change how it actually works. So we're going to get to see a whole bunch of brains here, and hopefully one of these will be a really smart brain. Unfortunately, in this case, I think I overcomplicated it a bit, so let's jump to a much simpler model. And this model has a whole host of improvements. First of all, I greatly simplified the inputs. We now have only four inputs. These inputs tell it whether it's in danger from the left, right, up, or down. So if something gets kind of close to it from the left, or it gets to the side of the screen on the left hand side, it's going to get a 1. Otherwise, if there's nothing in the danger zone, it's going to get a 0. So now it can only get 0s or 1s, which is a lot simpler. Another huge benefit of simplifying all this means that I can actually have more AIs on the screen at once. Previously, if we had more than 10, it would actually lag. Because we've greatly simplified how the AI actually works, we can have a lot more. So now we can have 100 per generation. So now we have 10 times the chance per generation of getting lucky and getting one that's actually good at dodging. So we're exponentially increasing our odds of actually creating a successful AI here. Likewise, I've modified the outputs, such that the output is actually rounded. So now it's only either going to be moving or it's not going to be moving. Previously, in the previous version, it could have any value between 0 and 1 and it'd be multiplied by the speed, which made it kind of complicated. So now we're using a binary system. On top of this, we've also made some other improvements. On the screen at the current time, the AI with the highest score, that is the highest fitness, is actually highlighted green. And not only that, you get to see in real time the brain of the AI that's currently performing the best. So you can actually see what the best performing AI is actually kind of thinking as it goes. So as you can see, we're in general 11 at the moment and already it looks like it's pretty much solved it it's actually going really well i don't know if it's gonna be perfect but it's going really well let's jump ahead to one of the later generations and see just how good this ai can get Well, I guess nothing's perfect. It went pretty good. Did die right at the end there, but it kind of got surrounded there. So as you can see, these balls, towards the end, they actually start to track onto you. So he's basically having every single ball going straight at him. So he literally has to do some pretty good dodging to actually get this far. So I'd say that's pretty impressive. It actually worked, and it actually taught itself how to play. You gotta remember, like, we tell it the stuff coming towards it, but we don't tell it which direction. We don't even tell it how to move. Everything that is done here, it's figured out itself. So just from evolution, it was able to solve this problem. That's pretty amazing. So there's lots of lessons learned here. So first and foremost, the most important thing, keep it simple. Don't try to overcomplicate the inputs and outputs. Try to figure out the most simple system or the simplest way to actually represent the data. Representing the data really simply makes your AI learn a hell of a lot faster. It's a lot simpler to process. It means you can put a lot more on screen. So that's the most important thing here. Now if you guys didn't notice, this simulation is actually running completely inside a web browser. So if you guys actually want to try this out, there's a link in the video description. You can click on that. It'll take you over to my GitHub pages. And from there, you can actually access this and actually watch it real time and watch it actually learn, which is really awesome. So if you guys want to do that, link in the video description. Now guys, we are going to wrap it up here. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Video. If you have, make sure to smash that like button. If you guys want to see more videos from us in the future, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And guys, if you want to see more AI from us, make sure to leave a comment down below and let us know. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. I'll just leave this AI running in fast motion for a little bit longer for you guys to check out. <laughs>